electronic students they are good at both hardware as well as software they acquire the skills hardware skills as well as the software skills when they are doing their graduation hardware skills it is basically the design of the circuits troubleshooting testing implementing and these circuits which are very much necessary for the day to day life as well as the industry and i say the electronics graduate is very good at uh, even softwares uh, because he does the programming at the very basic machine level and he also works with the higher level languages so this makes him makes his ability very comprehensive his uh, logical skills will be very very comprehensive having acquired both the hardware and software skills he is further capable of combining these two and developing an embedded environment and contributes to the requirements of the society as well as the industry because of which he fits into any type of the job and he becomes inevitable for the present day technology driven society hello everyone you might be surprised to see the interesting domain in an enc called as your signal processing and image processing so this particular domain is really interesting in terms of your medical field in terms of your uh, network communication field in terms of medical field you might have heard about the ecg machines wherein doctors check symptoms of heart disease using some particular signals so these signals can be operated various operation or signals can be done we see different qrs complexes your p wave r wave qr wave all these waves comes under an operation of domain called as your signal processing then we also have this particular important domain in terms of your imaging you are is image processing wherein you might have heard about the mri image machine we take the image of skull and we decide that whether a person is having a brain injury or not what we do here is that we create several templates of images of the human skull do with the reference of this particular different images as a templates doctor will judge whether a person is having a brain injury or not all these operations of your images can be taken up by a special software called as your matlab and wherein we create several templates of different skull and we project as a database for the doctors to judge whether a person is having several diseases this is a important field both signal processing and image processing will play a vital role in a medical field so that we have evolved many applications many features of medical field with the help of an electronics engineers i'm here to speak about a vlsi a vlsi is a very special field and as we all know a vlsi is a core for our electronic industries the electronic industries is going to be there and will continue to grow in future from that point of view there is a great opportunity for a vlsi there is definitely a good future for vlsi as i expect our challenges and innovations will continue to grow over a next several years today i am here to talk on iot uh, ordino lab introduced in the department of ece for second year level students in iot and ordino lab we teach the students how to interface different sensors to the ordino board the uh, actuators the processes interfacing to the ordino board the structure of the ordino board students would feel fascinating about this particular laboratory because they will be working on the real life projects in this particular laboratory in connection with this we have a python programming lab introduced at the second year level itself in this laboratory students will learn both basic as well as advanced levels of python programming we will be introducing raspberry pi to the students we will teach them how to install the operating systems to the raspberry pi and how to interface the sensors to the raspberry pi and what is the structure of the python programming in line with the raspberry pi
On behalf of ECE department, I am here today to give awareness on placements for ECE students in core. So electronics engineers typically work in a various companies like a manufacturing industries, technology engineering and uh, engineering business just to create uh, uh, electronic devices and systems. So there are different uh, there are different fields like VLSI and embedded system fields where electronics engineers can work. So there are different sectors in this in this particular VLSI design as well as embedded system. So few are like a physical design engineer, physical ver verification engineer, ASIC front end and back end designers, DFT engineers, and ASIC verification engineers. So there are some companies who exactly have the sector engineers. So the core companies like uh, Qualcomm, Intel, Samsung and uh, Broadcom and MediaTek. So these are the companies who are having uh, different sector engineers work for the core electronics department. Hi, today I will be giving you very informative information about startups. And here I will be tell, tell, telling you about how the electronic students can go into startups, have the startups of their own. So first I want to tell, in simple, electronic engineer can ha act in any role. So he can fit into any role. He can act either as a software engineer or as a hardware engineer. So in simple we can tell, it is generally termed as firmware. So now, electronics, a lot of uh, st st startups have been uh, created here. So how the startups have been created? So these are created by young aspiring engineers. So they have thought that, that they want to have the startups of their own. So for that I can tell you the facts. And they, uh, these are live facts what I can tell you. A, a, a number of you students might have used was Flipkart, you might have used Zomato, you might have used a Snapdeal or shop clues. So all these are started by engineers only. With all my experience, I suggest my young friends, if at all they are opting for the technical education, they can opt uh, electronics and communication as their branch. Uh, I consider this branch to be a very, very versatile branch. Thank you.